Hey everyone, my name is Sahil Malik. I tweet at, at Sahil Malik. And you can find out more about me at winsmarts.com slash, yeah, just winsmarts.com. But if you want to you know, send me an email, go to slash contact.aspx. This video is about uh, Angular 2 Hello World app. And, you know, as I'm, you know, I, I basically wanted to write a Hello World app and sort of talk about the process that I went through writing this app, the thought process behind it. And, uh, you know, basically talk out loudly so I can refer to it later. So that's what this video is about. So let's get rolling. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and create a directory called Angular to Hello World and go into this directory. Now, whatever I'm doing, you will see that happen on the right hand side as well. So there are, you know, you, you know exactly what's going on. Uh, I'm, I need a couple of uh, node packages. So the, basically I'm going to define this project structure as all my code will go in a folder called SRC. Ah, uh, it'd be nice if I can type properly SRC. Okay, so all my code will go in there, but my node modules, etc., and all the you know sausage factory is going to live out here. So let's go ahead and say npm init dash y to basically start you know create a package JSON with the defaults. Uh, I'm going to edit that in a second, but let's go ahead and install the node packages. I'm going to say npm install. I'm going to need TypeScript. I'm going to need uh, Angular 2. So they're basically ending up in here, as you can see. Uh, I am going to need uh, something called system.js to basically load modules install system.js like that so that's going to go in here i'm installing this locally because i don't want the you know dependency on the machine so this project can be control c control read all over the place okay and then i'm going to need uh, uh let's see i'm going to need uh, okay i'm going to need a web server so i'm going to say npm i live server so basically this gives me like a lightweight web server so i can i can also you know use python for that but uh, but this is a cross platform way of doing it like if you're running windows you don't have python installed etc okay uh now so i have this basically set up i'm going to start by editing the package.json so i'm going to basically say open visual studio code and inside of it i'm going to start making some changes so don't need this i'm going to remove this i'm going to add a couple of uh, you know dev dependencies and basically these are the two sections that I really care about, the scripts and the dev dependencies. So in the scripts area, I'm going to write, uh, basically that we need a TypeScript compiler. So I'm gonna say TSC, TSC-P, which is project, P for project, and it's gonna look in the source directory. So tell you what, in the source directory, I'm gonna need a tsconfig.json. So let me go ahead and create that. So I'm gonna go to the SRC directory. I'm gonna say TSC init. So it creates a tsconfig.json. We're gonna edit this in a second because the defaults are no good. So I created a tsconfig.json inside of here. Uh, the next, and another thing I basically did is, you know, I'm running this in watch mode. So any changes I make will, it'll constantly watch for them. There are better ways of doing this, of course. And actually, if you want to see, you know, TypeScript and, uh, if you learn, you know, TypeScript and JavaScript in depth, I would I I've put together a course on Udemy, and you know, this is where you go udemy.com/javascript-typescript, and if you go there, uh, you know, you'll find uh, you'll find a you know a pretty good tutorial about uh, uh, you know learning JavaScript and TypeScript and getting really good at it. But anyway, coming back to this, the next thing I need here is that I'm going to need a command to start the live server pointed to the SRC directory because SRC is where all my code will go. So whatever is in here will be served on an HTTP server. Uh, I'm gonna need a couple of uh, dev dependency, specifically the live server and system.js. So the idea being that, you know, if I was to check this into say GitHub or any source control, I don't want to check in in the node modules, but uh, the idea being that if I have this, then anybody can just basically say NPM and it'll, you know, uh, refresh all the node modules, get them from the internet, etc. Okay, so this is my package JSON. So you see what's going on here. Let's go ahead and flush out the tsconfig.json as well. 
So the default here is no good. Uh, we definitely don't need to exclude node modules because it's not in this directory. We're gonna reference node modules from out here. Uh, the compiler options, we wanna target a newer version of ECMAScript because we're gonna be targeting newer browsers. Angular 2 really takes advantage of that. Uh, let's see, we don't care about this. We don't care about that. We definitely want source map. Source maps are for debugging. And there are two important things that actually we do need are these properties here because uh, TypeScript with Angular 2 relies on ECMAScript 7 syntax. Like you'll see things like add component, okay? And uh, these are ECMAScript 7, they're not ratified standards, which is why they call them experimental, but you know, they're available in TypeScript and I think it's pretty safe to use them. Uh, so anyway, that's that. So this is my tsconfig.json. I'm going to go ahead and you know start writing uh, my actual code now. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the source folder here, source folder. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file here called index.html. And I'm also gonna go ahead and create a folder called app. And inside of app, I'm gonna create a file called app.ts. Okay, so you can pretty much guess what's going on here is that index.html is gonna reference a bunch of files out of the node modules. And it'll also reference files out of, uh, you know, this somehow it's gonna load this app.ts or rather somehow it's gonna load the JS generated version out of this app.ts. If this sounds, uh, you know, Greek to you, like generated JS version, then, you know, check out this course, udemy.com slash JavaScript dash TypeScript, because that, that'll walk you through the basics of TypeScript and JavaScript. Okay, so let's come back here and start writing some interesting code. I'm gonna need, you know, an HTML element. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish that. Uh, I'm gonna need a body element and basically what I intend to do, it's a simple hello world app. So I'm going to basically write, well, we call this directive, but really we're going to load this with a CSS selector. We'll see that in a second. And you see there's a loading message in here. This will get replaced with hello world. But how, that's where the magic, uh, you know, goes up here. So let's go ahead and create a head element, okay? And inside of the head element is where I'm gonna basically go ahead and load all my scripts. So the two scripts I need that I depend on are system.js and uh, Angular 2. Why am I not loading TypeScript? Because I'm not doing you know the transpilation at runtime. I'm going to do the transpilation on the disk ahead of time, and I'm going to load JavaScript. And how exactly do I load JavaScript? I'm gonna load JavaScript using the system.js node module that I had earlier. And basically I'm gonna do that using this code snippet here. So basically I've said that I'm gonna load a package called app with extension JS, so we're loading JavaScript, and I'm gonna import uh, you know something in the folder app. I'm gonna look for a file called app.js, and that is what will get imported. So that'll make it you know available on my page, but obviously I need to write code to make use of it, as in, uh, you know, so uh, the, the code in app.ts is basically where my actual logic goes. So let's go ahead and write that out. So because I like IntelliSense, I'm gonna go ahead and reference uh, the DTS file for Angular 2. And the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this import syntax to load objects from the Angular 2, Angular 2 module. See, IntelliSense is awesome, no typos. And specifically, what modules do I want to load, or what objects do I want to load from this module? I'm gonna load Bootstrap, and I'm gonna load component, like that. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and declare my component. Uh, so I'm gonna say component, like that, IntelliSense is awesome. I need to specify it like a big JSON object for the, its initialization. So there are a lot of things you can specify here. I'm gonna choose selector. And this is a basically a CSS selector and we're gonna target an element called my app, okay? And then I'm gonna basically choose template, uh, basically what gets replaced in there. Obviously Angular 2 is very powerful. This is not a tutorial on Angular 2, but I'm just gonna write Angular 2, hello world. This is just, you know, getting started, h1, like that, okay? 
And the next thing I'm going to do basically, I'm going to declare a class called app component. And let's go ahead and load it using bootstrap like this. Okay. And that's it. This is my code. So what we're basically doing is that using this component element, we are targeting a CSS selector called my app and we're replacing it with this template. Now, again, obviously this is not a tutorial on Angular 2. This is just a hello world. So whatever we see here, okay, this loading will get replaced with H1 Angular 2 hello world. That's the idea. All right. Um, all right, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, run this. So how exactly do I run this? I'm going to go to package.json. I had two commands here, TSC to create the, the JavaScript out of the TS. So I'm going to run that first. So how do I run that? Basically go to terminal and I'm going to say, let's also open finder on the right hand side so you can see what's going on. So when I run this command, you'll see files appear over there. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm in the, I gotta go to the right directory first. I'm gonna say npm run TSC. So it's running it in watch mode, right? So any changes that I make to the TS will get reflected in the JS. So it's basically compiling it continuously as you can see here. And let's go ahead and also run the live server. So the live server, the command for that was start, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and run live server, which is, which will basically fire up a web server for me. So I'm gonna say npm start like that and bingo. That's my simple Angular 2 hello world to app. It is loading the index.html file. It, it, you know, it loaded the generated JavaScript file and that generated JavaScript file is actually frankly scary. Woo, it's crazy. But I don't even look at this because Angular 2, I mean, you can use JavaScript and write crazy code like that. Actually, when you handwrite it, it's not that crazy, but it's still pretty crazy. But writing it in TypeScript is just so much simpler and easier. I think that's probably what we'll be doing. Again, if you want to learn more about, you know, TypeScript and JavaScript in general, go here, udemy.com slash JavaScript dash TypeScript. All right, so that's about a simple Angular 2 Hello World app. Keep rocking. Thank you for watching.